Hi Virgo, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign Virgo, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week, this week you have the death card. What is it that you are choosing to end? What is it you're choosing to let go of or to release over the course of this week, right? The death card very often shows up for us when there are endings, culminations, completions that are happening naturally, which are all a cycle and a part of life, but they also show up, the death card also shows up and it's your key to the week, which suggests that this week there's something that you're putting down, something that you're releasing, something that you're letting go of. And I actually think this could be very beneficial for you in a lot of ways. And the reason I say this is, when we cut away the brush, when we cut away what is superfluous, uh, right, this is why we have winter. Everything dies back, everything is kind of pulled away, and then when we come to spring, because there is space for new things, there's space for new growth. This is what the death card reminds us of, that in order to push forward with things, we have to release something else. So uh, if you haven't got yours yet, they are up and out there for your purchasing pleasure. Your 2022 tower scopes are up and out there. You can get yours on the link in the description box below or on one of those little floaty things above my head. You can get one for $4.99. You can get three for $12.99. Um, which is your, you know, your sun, your moon, and your ascendant, or you can get the whole bundle of all twelve for twenty four ninety nine. They're fully downloadable, so uh, I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, just want to say to all of you who have purchased already, thank you so much. It really does mean a lot that you support my work in this way. And for those of you that are going to purchase, I thank you so much for uh, that. The tw Life Path twenty twenty two readings are uh, currently in the process of being created, so stay tuned for those. All right, uh, this is the last time I will advertise these because you know I don't like to do too many adverts but thank you so much for those of you that have listened. For your actions and options you have the Queen of Pentacles. Virgo you show up in your power. Love this for you right? So whether you're a man or a woman Virgo is irrelevant in some way shape or form you show up as yourself in your reading in your actions and options which means that whatever is coming to an end this week it is your choice this is what you are choosing to put down is what you're choosing to end and in a lot of ways this really does put you in a very powerful position because it means that you are in control and you know I'm not gonna say it but <laughs> We know Virgos like to, yeah, I'm going to say it. We know you guys like to be in the driving seat. Um, that is as much as I will say on that front. What this also suggests, though, is your actions this week are geared towards growth. So it really is a case of whatever you're releasing, whatever you're letting go of, whatever you're saying, no, I'm not doing this, or I'm moving that away, or I'm releasing this. It's like you're doing that in mind because you know it's going to accelerate you somewhere else in your life, right? So this is great. For your communications and conversations, you have the Three of Wands. This is actually a great card for communications, but it does suggest that something is stalled this week. So maybe some communication that you get um, and it's really weird. It's like whatever plans you have in the pipeline, whatever plans you have going forward or moving ahead, they're absolutely, they stand all the great chances that you could hope for. But there's something about them that is either going to be delayed or there's something about them that needs to be evolved now, right? There's something that you're having to release or to let go in order for you to step forward. This could be one of those moments where you realise by continuing down a certain path, maybe you're going to shoot yourself in the foot. Maybe not immediately, but at a, do you know what I mean? Like you're being really honest with yourself about, okay, what can I release here? What can I let go of? What just isn't going to take me down the path that I'd like to be in? Now, when it comes to your... Um, uh, for those of you that are employed, sorry, by somebody else, 
The Three of Wands is great, right? Because this suggests really good communications, but it also suggests lucky breaks. Now you've got this underneath the death card and I kind of feel like whatever avenue had been shut down or closed down for you at work, this week there's a glimmer of hope for it to either be revived or you understand that actually, you know what, I didn't get that promotion and I would have fucking hated that job anyway. So you know what, this is a blessing in disguise and this Three of Wands is going to open something else up that feels more aligned, that feels more like what you would like to, to do or to be, which is actually a really good thing. When it comes to those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, I really like this for you because it suggests that there are new connections coming in. So whatever ones have been closed down, whatever paths or avenues have been shut off for you, there's something or someone new that comes in over the course of this week that is likely to fulfill fill that place better uh, which is you know great when it comes to your physical uh, no wrong card raf for those of you that are retired or no longer working again it's kind of like this week i kind of feel like whatever is shut down whatever path is closed off to you something comes off the back of it that is actually better it's just a better fit um, now the three of wands for those of you that are retired is really asking you to think about what the longer term plans are from here on in first of all second they're asking you to really consider especially because you've got the death card here what have you put down in recent months or you know in recent weeks or days or whatever what have you put down recently that you know didn't really speak to you <gasps> excuse me, <laughs> that now does, right? Or that at the time, maybe there was no way for. The reason I say this, this can be a very lucky card. And when it shows up for us, it usually shows that there is, there's a glimmer there of hope and more than hope, there's a glimmer of possibility. All right, for your love and relations, you've got the King of Swords. So this would usually be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libran male. For those of you that are single and looking, you could be meeting an air sign this week. Somebody that is smart, studious, somebody that really has um, a solid sense of how to communicate with you personally, right? Now, I will say that this is likely to be somebody either from a very different background, maybe from somebody that is in uh, a job or a profession that is kind of adjacent to yours. Um, so maybe that's where you interact or how you interact in some way. Now, for those of you that are partnered, married or in long-term commitments, this is actually really nice because it looks like you and your partner are gearing up to make some sort of uh, big change, maybe some sort of big purchase. It could be as well that a lot of you are considering I almost want to say like considering new ways to do things that you'd wanted to do but were on hold. Now you've got the death card that's informing this whole week and it kind of suggests if there's been any legal hang-ups or hold-ups, if there's been delays in paperwork, if there's been, um, you know, if there's been challenges or issues with your work or their work, those things melt away now. It's kind of like the universe is saying, I'm going to get out of your way. You love birds, do your thing, right? <laughs> so if you're partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, you're in a pretty good space. For your money and materials, you have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so you've got this right underneath the Three of Wands. Three of Wands can speak to uh, travel and or uh, foreign or overseas business. You've got this with the Knight of Swords. That suggests to me there may be an international connection that comes in for work over the course of this week. I'm gonna be honest with you, because you've got this Knight of Swords here, I am inclined to say to you, you may bite off more than you can chew with this person. Um, it could be, you know, any number of things. Maybe if somebody feels like they're really insistent or really pushy on trying to sell you something that you absolutely have to have, or it's gonna improve your business 10 times, or this is the week to watch out for that kind of thing. Cause you could be promised a, you know, you could be promised a diamond and delivered a rock. Um, just be careful. And not only that, there's something really pushy about this energy that I don't like. It's the Knight of Swords after all, which suggests that there's likely to be a meeting of some sort that has um, talks around finances, resources. Um, just be careful, all right? When it comes to your physical health and vitality, usually the Knight of Swords, it's frenetic energy, right? So you might find that you feel like a little bit pepped up. 
Um, and if that is the case, do something to slow yourself down, to ease yourself down. And remember when it comes to the physical body, because this card for me, personally anyway, is Gemini ruled, it's your hands, your arms, your fingers, watch out for your extremities this week. And more importantly, um, your cardio. This is one of the cards that I often say to people, if, you, if your cardiovascular um, health or endurance is not good, get a shift on, all right? And then when it comes to your home and environment, this week, um, whatever's happening outside of the home in the locality, don't get into it, all right? If this is one of those things where it, just let it play out, don't feed into it in any way, shape or form. All in all, it doesn't look like a bad week, especially considering that you've got the, um, the death card there. Funnily enough as well, because you've got that Knight of Swords, I'm almost tempted to say that this is gonna be, and this came up for another uh, reading last week. Um, I think we're gonna see the death of a scholar somebody that is you know known for their um and somebody did post a comment to say that this had already happened but i feel like it's going to be a big one you know one that everybody's like oh my gosh like i can't believe you know and i wonder if this is that now with that said i hope you have a great week let me know in the comments how it shapes up take care and i'll see you soon